Welcome to the brand new Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our content. And man, I just put this thing on for the first time in a long time, and it just made me feel really good. Like, so I feel like I need to go get my other one out of storage and put that one on too, so I can look like the the athletes like Simone Biles and stuff. Although she got a lot of gold medals, but you know how they lay them. <clears throat> Feels good. Uh, anyway, USA Team USA, who we all watching basketball in the Olympics for, um, so off to a three and zero start, kind of dominating just about everyone that, that that they face up against, which was which was to be expected. Uh, we got <clears throat> Ant Man leading the team and scoring off the bench with sixteen point six a game. KD is slightly behind at 16 a game. Uh, those two guys have been shouldering much of the scoring load, uh, which I think is pretty expected. KD is the all-time leading sc scorer in Team USA history. And at man, if you watched him last year uh, on the FIBA stage, I think it was last year. Yeah, it was last year in the World Championships. If you watch him on the FIBA stage, like, you could tell he would be a guy in this setting that, like, those guys are not fast enough, not strong enough, don't jump high enough, and quite frankly, just not good enough to stop them. Um, and you've kind of seen that in FIBA play, and now you're seeing it in the Olympics. And, man, especially, and he continues to grow. And I think what I love most is the way – Bron, Steph, and KD are embracing him to, like, be that next young guy up and kind of giving him the keys to the team in a sense. Like, they're, if you're watching these games, he's running the show. Whenever he's on the floor, it's his show. And I'm sure, like, Ant-Man is a very confident, confident player. Um, I think that's what we all love about him. He was half joking when he said, no, they're going to have to learn how to fit around me. But I said half joking because he was definitely serious. And he meant it, but he says it and does it and go about it in a way where he's confident as hell and very close to cocky. But if you understand anything about greatness, you got to be very close to cocky in order to be great at anything because that belief the belief is actually one of the things that separate you because most people can't reach that level of belief in themselves. And so having that belief, being a little cocky, is actually what separates him. And obviously you got to have the talent to go with it, and he got more than enough talent. And so it's been interesting to watch uh, Ant-Man kind of run the show, um, kind of watching Bron play – kind of the point forward, like real point forward role. Uh, Bron, his whole career, he's really played point guard. But he's been a true point forward in this setting, and I think it's, it's been beautiful to see. I think uh, AD and Bam have been incredible at the big spot. Uh, Joel had his best game of the series today um, versus Puerto Rico. Uh, so it's good to see him have a good game. I think the first couple games he had been struggling a bit. Oh, well, played one. Sat one. <laughs> but he had also been struggling for most of the exhibition games, especially the ones in America. He was a little better at Abu Dhabi and London. But not your typical Joel and trying to figure it out. As I said, he was, he was better today. Probably his best game of the tournament so far. And with this team being so dominant, uh, with this team – pretty much doing exactly what we expected them to do uh, on, their, on their way to another gold medal. Um, it's only right that you draw the comparisons to what is believed to be the greatest Team USA uh, ever assembled, which is the Dream Team. And this 2024 team, you got the Dream Team, you got the Redeem Team, this 2024 team, are definitely drawing those comparisons to the Dream Team. And quite frankly, I'm taking the 2014 
seven days a week. I think the 2024 team beats the dream team five out of seven games. I didn't give the dream team some respect. They got goats. We get it. They got Hall of Famers. We get it. Five out of seven games, at least, for the 2024 team. I just think the versatility on that team, the star power, the score, I don't think the dream team can do anything with that. Oh, and by the way, now, if the dream team has Shaq on it and not Christian Leitner, maybe a different story because the versatility that Shaq would bring to that team is just a different thing that you have to deal with. it. But we know Shaq was not on the dream team, which I think was a big mistake. But nonetheless, it is what it is. And I got the 2024 team winning easy. Pretty simple. Um, the game is different. The game is better now. And against better talent, we see what's happening. There's nothing that no one can do to even come remotely close to beating this team. It's just not happening. Too good. Too much star power. Oh, and by the way, Steph Curry has not played well. Steph Curry has not shot the ball well. Devin Booker has been an X factor. But Steph hasn't shot well at all. And we're winning by 25, 30 points. That's interesting. Very interesting. And that's why I don't think the Dream Team could come close. It's, I wouldn't say come close. It's a 10-point loss. Double digits. By 2024 Team USA, you can book it. You heard it here. It's what it is. Winning, no problem. Just like they're about to win the gold medal. No problem. You know the beautiful thing about being a sports fan? There's only like two days the whole year without a game. Two. With so much happening and so much action, that makes just about every day game day at DraftKings Sportsbook. It's super easy for first-timers to get started. Try betting on something simple like picking a team to win. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, select your team, and place your first bet. It really couldn't be any easier or any simpler. Baseball, golf, UFC, there's something for every fan of every sport to bet on DraftKings. And I know it's early, but football season will be here before you know it. And the Kansas City Chiefs are currently the favorite to win the Super Bowl on DraftKings at plus 550. And if you're new to DraftKings, you got to check this out. New customers bet $5 and get 150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code HOOPS. That's H-O-O-P-S. That's code HOOPS for new customers to get 150 in bonus bets instantly when you bet just $5. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. <laughs> 